by 150%. I'd print that out and I'd redraw it with pen and ink. I scanned them back into the computer and I positioned them all. Um, and then I print a transparency. And I take that transparency um, and that's ready then to be exposed to a plate. I'll cut the plate down to size. I file the edges. Filing the edges makes it so that later when I pass it through the press, it goes through the press without puncturing the blankets with paper. I degrease that plate and then I um, then it's ready for the, the film to go on to it. It's a photo sensitive film that I put on the plate. It's not a traditional, traditional process. I take that pure etch, it's a finicky process of adhering it to the plate without having any um, grease or any um, bit of dust or anything on there so it's, it's just tricky to get it on there. Once it's on there it's ready to be exposed. You'll take the plate that you prepped with the pure etch film and you put it into an exposure unit. I take the whole thing out and I develop the plate. So developing the plate I do in a bath of water and soda ash and you put the plate into the, the developer and anywhere that the light has not hit the plate will actually dissolve. But where the light has hit, uh, the film will be hardened. So what you get is a plate, when you pull it out of the developer and wash that off, you'll see that the copper is exposed in places. And that means that it's ready to be etched. You use ferret chloride, so this is going back to a traditional process where you're actually etching a copper plate. So you etch that copper plate um, after just getting it ready for the bath, taking out anything that you don't want to etch. And you put the plate into the acid solution. Um, ferret chloride is, is not really an acid, it's a corrosive salt. And then once I take that out of the, the acid, I take the film off, I strip that off. Inking it up is just spreading an ink made out of linseed oil and pigment and some other random chemicals <laughs> and um, spreading it onto the plate and then I wipe the surface with tarlatan, which is starched cheesecloth. So anywhere that has been etched is below the surface level and will contain the ink still. So wiping that clean, I also hand wipe that plate and get the, the background clean and white, and then I will take that plate to the press. And I put a sheet of soaked paper, so it's cotton rag paper that I've soaked in the water for a few minutes. Um, and I blot that paper and I put that paper on top of the plate and I run it through the press. and you run it through the press. And then at the end you pull it off the plate and you can see that 